Hi everybody, welcome back to some more Oxygen Not Included. My name is Zero, thank you so much for checking out the channel. I certainly appreciate it on this episode 3 of Oxygen Not Included. Now, last time we ended up finding this cool salt slush geyser, and this is something I actually want to tap into today. So we are going to have to extend up, and we're going to come over at the geyser from the right side, and we're going to bust out of our base by going up. Real quick, I just wanted to show everybody that um, off the air, I just uh, inspected all of these things and they hook you up with a little bit of this data bank. Nothing too crazy, but if you come over to like, uh, let's say this, this this lab desk here and you go to inspect, you can see a data bank comes out of there, nothing of interest, and it is just a story of the game. So in here, there'll be a couple. There's a desk right here. We can actually inspect that one. That'll hook us up with a data bank right there. And I think that's going to be it. We have to activate this so we can get it going on the other side as well. Uh, but for right now, let's go down to our printing pod. Let's go to duplicate skills and let's go to operate. So we can't get to Megatronic Engineer until we go to improved carrying. You have to get those two skills before you can actually get the Megatronic Engineer. So we should get that hopefully on this game here today. But we are going to go to the uh, carrying one for supplying and hopefully get that Megatronics very quickly. We also got grilling cook, no, uh, cook cooking number two on grilling, so our cook is going to be way better at that. If we look at our our, our cook to begin with, uh, you can see he actually has the sprinkles going right now, so he does have the sparkle streak, which means his athletics are at eight plus eight right now because he is overjoyed. That is his overjoyed um, little thing right there, sparkle streaker. And so he's going to have that for a couple of the cycles right now. Um, we also did put down here another oxygen diffuser. Our, our oxygen right here was getting a little bit low. It was stifling some of our plants here. So we put an oxygen diffuser hopefully to uh, not only give us some extra oxygen, but push down this carbon dioxide and really get it over here to the bottom right. All right. Other than that, let's get a ladder going and let's get up here so we can bust into our salt slush geyser. Sorry, I just came back and noticed that my microphone was muted for a time, so I do apologize. Um, I, hopefully you heard me say that we are just digging this part out, and then we're actually coming down here. We want to get a little bit of a Draco farm going, and we want to get everything set up for a Draco farm. I also have to get a couple incubators going on over here, so we will see exactly what we can get with that. Let's see what kind of blueprint we got. Do we have another dig? Hiding, cooking, no, 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 man, nothing. I don't really want some shine nymph eggs either. We're going to reject all of that, man. We are not getting good duplicates this game. This is this is kind of insane. We're also going to come over here to the plastic ladders, and we're going to get those. We have our automatic dispenser set up so we can get some hatchling eggs out, and, uh, and, and they won't get that cramped debuff if that ever does happen. And unfortunately, one of the things that did happen was some of the polluted ice melted, and so we have some polluted water in here now that is off-gassing into some polluted oxygen. One of the things we can do for that is actually, it's kind of funny, we can, uh, boom, we can go here, and we can go here, let's say. And then we'll give them a mesh tile as a base, and then what'll end up happening is, if that polluted oxygen ends up reaching the top, um, it'll get converted to regular oxygen, and it'll give off some oxygen just to our, the outside of our base. So that's perfect. That, that is fine with us. We are totally fine with that. And as long as we keep getting that cool salt brine, and we're good. It's starting to build up just a little bit in here, so hopefully they can get that off in a rather quick manner. And we will continue going along the outside, grab up our Dreco once we get down here. We are going to have to get some incubators going for the food, so um, I think polluted oxygen in there. I really didn't want to have to go in there. We're going to go one below. We're just going to go right here. Let's get it all set up and ready to go. All right, the incubators are getting set up and ready to go, so we are going to just throw some hatchling eggs in there right now. We really, um, we really don't have any other eggs that we care about right this second. We can maybe throw one of these drecklet eggs in there but as soon as they hatch we're going to be able to see them going around we'll be able to wrangle them as well so not too big of a deal we don't really need them in incubators but we have that all set up and ready to go one of the things i really didn't catch here is this actually was an open doorway to uh, the inside and outside so we are going to cover it up just on this side 
uh, really quickly, and nobody can actually go past there. So this is the end, edge of our base. We'll come along here, and we'll come down that way. And right now, we're getting everything ready to go for our Dreco farm. We're going to want to ranch plastic from them, and so what we're going to do is uh, let's let them... Let them build that really quickly. I don't think they can actually get up there. They can't. Okay, so let's um let's just let them build that really quickly. Right here. And did here our printing pawn, so let's come down here, see what we got. Uh dig. Wow, a ten noodle arms. We can actually get them up in strength a little bit. So looking at all three of these, I honestly was gonna pick this dig, but then I saw the bottomless stomach, and I just I don't want that early on in the game. Um forty eight thousand calories, we have a lot, but not 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 enough that I'm comfortable with right now. So we're we're gonna X nay on this guy. Um and decorate and ranching. We don't really want them. So citrus spandex it is. And who do we give? Citrus spandex too. I think I think that has to go to our rancher. Excuse me, rancher. Where did you go? There he is in his citrus outfit. Look at him. He is looking like a stallion coming across. My goodness, probably feeling great. Coming down. Gonna help out with our dig project over here. That's okay. Uh, I know that that did come into our base a little bit here. Let's uh, let's get those priorities up just a tiny bit. Thanks, y'all. Okay. We wanted to close that off just very quickly. Wow, that brought a ton of brine into our base. Oh, my goodness. That is going to be so much brine. Yeah, it's too much liquid to even... Oh, my gosh. It is so much. <laughs> there is so much brine. Yeah, you guys keep going. You better pick all this up. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, they, they, I'm telling you, they will find a way to hurt themselves every single time. It's kind of crazy. All this brine water, though, I think we're just going to keep it in there. That's fine with me. Awesome. You guys are just champions. You guys are champions. Pick that up, and it's like nothing ever happened. All right, and as soon as they put in this insulated tile, we are going to be good to go. That was a little complicated. <laughs> That's a little more complicated than it normally takes. But again, we didn't get a ton of space in our starting biome, so we do need this little just extra room for our our Dreco ranching, which is what we're going to continue to get done here. Let's see if we can't mop that out just really quickly. And then what I want to do is actually clean this entire room out too, so... We'll see what can be uh, what can be taken in there. We're gonna mop you up again. Keep mopping you up, and we're gonna need to get out. Um, so let's get this. Let's get this bottle, liquid bottle. We're gonna need to get the salt water out of here, and there's also polluted water in there, which we're gonna have to just, I uh, dump just, uh, just dump somewhere, literally right into here, I think. Uh, there is snow and stuff, so we did put in some uh, storage bins into our water, and so in here we actually want to go liquefiable, and we want to do like. Ice and snow, like ice and snow, will definitely bring down here. Um, we're gonna actually put those up at. Uh, we want we want this to be seven, and this to be at an eight. So so they fill this one up, fill this one up, fill this one up. We came over here to our duplicate skill tree, and we're gonna give supplying one more just so he can have uh, his full load right there. Tw uh, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, sixteen hundred. Yeah, he'll be able to carry a lot more now. And so hopefully that'll help clear this area up just a little bit. We actually can't do anything until all of this polluted water and stuff gets out of here. Okay, so for some reason there was polluted water that was sitting right here. We have brine. We have brine. I think we can actually just... We're just going to mop all of this stuff up. And we're just going to put in some regular water into here. We also put down some swords bins into our brine right here. And so we are going to want to put the brine ice in there. So just allow... Just allowing everything to be cleaned up out of here. Okay, so we did make our water liquid lock for the uh, place that we're going to shear all of our glossy Drecos. And the next thing that we have to do is get all of this polluted oxygen out of here. So what we're going to do is grab a gas pump. We're just going to come up to here. We're going to pump it up right to here, literally. Boom. And we are going to need some power going into all that. So one of the things that we wanted to make sure was that uh, we, we actually have a barrier here so that we can bring some wires in and out of here. 
So let's get that going. And as that is going, let's also create our stable. So we are going to do things a little bit different here. We are going to set it up with some pneumatic doors. We have our grooming station and our critter drop-off. Now, we don't need our feeding station, the critter feed stations here, because they actually eat meal lice. So we are going to plant some meal lice into here for our Drekos. All right, it looks like the inside is ready to go. We're going to grab some liquid. We're going to grab water. We're going to seven and enable auto bottle. We just want a drop of liquid right on top here. Should be more than enough. That drop of water is going to come down. Boom, hit right there. Excellent. We can deconstruct that. And then we're going to mop up the rest of the water that is down here. So we should have a drop of water just sitting right there on that block. That is excellent. Exactly what we are looking for. And let's grab up a tile. We're going to put that tile back in up top there. And yeah, deconstruct that. And mop that up. Okay, excellent. We're going to plant some mealwood seeds right in here. Awesome. Awesome. Grab them all dirt, and then we're going to come down to your, here to harvest plant, and we're going to go to disable harvest plant. We actually don't want them to harvest these plants, so our Drekos are going to be eating these mealwood uh, plants. And the reason that we use mealwood, if we come down to here to the Dreco, we can see that the glossy Drecklet egg, the probability will increase when the creature eats mealwood. And so we want to increase the probability of glossy directlet eggs being dropped because those are the ones that give us plastic. And so what's going to happen is uh, the the regular Dreco is going to eat the mealwood plant and then have a higher chance of dropping a directlet egg, the, the glossy directlet egg. We're going to take that glossy directlet egg, we're going to throw it into here and then hopefully what's going to happen is we're going to have an overabundance of glossy Drekos and we're going to fill this room with hydrogen and then that way their scales can grow back, they can get sheared off right here and everything should be good. It should be, it should be a perfect little, 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 little system. So we'll see how it's going to work. Let's see if we can't wrangle up this glossy Dreko. We don't want it to die so let's... Uh we also want to release some of this hydrogen, and what's going to happen is it's going to pop all the way up into here, and we want to vent that into here. So we have this gas pump going right now because we want to create a complete vacuum in here. We only want hydrogen to be in this room. So we're taking our gas pump, and we're just pumping whatever else is in here out of it. Let's allow our duplicates to get down into here. Hopefully get this water out of here as well. I really do not want to drown this Dreco. There we go. Boom. Okay, so the rancher got him. We're going to come over to here. We're going to wait for him to get in there. Awesome. Okay, so our Dreco is in our room now. And what's going to happen is because this water droplet's here, the gecko should not be able to pass through that water. Now, normally they can pass through water. I don't know why this works, but it really does. I don't know if they need two spaces or whatnot, um, but the Dreco will not go past this water droplet right here, and so he'll be confined to our little space, which makes the grooming station much, much easier for our duplicate. They don't have, to, like, let's say the Dreco is over here. They don't have to call him all the way over to here. And to tell you the truth, we haven't even put down our tile up here yet, so... you. Put down the tile, and as soon as you put down that tile, it will be a ranch. There we go. Now it should start to service this. One of the other things we want to do... Yeah, there he goes. He's calling him right now. Perfect. Boom. Groom. Okay, the other thing we want to do is actually extend this up here. We want to... Okay. We're going to allow our duplicates to slide from farther up. And this is going to be a nice ranching station. So each time that we find a Dreco somewhere around the map, we can bring them right back into here. And what we hope to do is have the eggs drop into here, get picked up. Let's see how our operator is doing. Do we have two units of skill yet for our operator? Nope, just one. Ah, oh, we are one away. As soon as we get this Megatronics engineer, we can stop micromanaging these things so much where we have to come in here and sweep everything up. How's our Dreco eggs doing here? 93%, so they are almost ready to go, too. So we have almost converted all of the Draco eggs that we have. Let's get our desalinator ready to go. Excellent, and we do have a chance at a blueprint. 
Suit wearing, doctoring. We don't like. Oh, Draclet. We're definitely going to take that for barbecue. Food right now. We do have 26,000 calories. We need more food. We're going to print out this Draclet and. We're going to add a little bit more food. So let's go to food. Got a couple more farm tiles up here. We also want to wrangle up this Draco really quickly. Where'd he go? There he is. All right. That's going to put all those mealwood over there. That should that should hook us up with a lot more mealwood. We should be fine now. We really shouldn't have to worry about 18,000 calories. That is that is not a lot. Um, we're going to start getting some with the meat that is given off by these by these uh, hatches as well. But right now, we do have two Drekos in here. Excellent. We are gathering up some of our brine water, so that's all great. Good brine. How's our germs doing? Oh, germs are great. Yeah, no, we're fine. We are absolutely fine right now. We have released some of that hydrogen a little bit. It has come up here. It's getting stuck like right here and right here. That's okay. We'll let it just continue going up. One of the other things to complete, it's saying that this is outside of a stable, and I always forget to do this, but you do have to place a pneumatic door right here or else uh, this water this water does not technically constitute a, a wall of any sort, so technically this room is open to the outside. Once we put a door here, we're going to see that the, uh, the shearing stations themselves will make a stable, so that should all be good to an actually enable harvest of these four plants right here just because we only have two uh, two of the Drekos Drek in here and so we could we could certainly benefit from that meal lice way more than they could at this particular moment okay so we put the door down and as you can see it does make this a stable and so this is all good to go get rid of those wires in there really quickly Excellent. And once we do get that Megatronics Engineer, that will allow us to just take all of the eggs that are in here. As you can see, there's one right there. Um, and throw them all into here with hopefully no problems. The last thing we're going to do for this stable is we're going to get some hydrogen into our vacuumed out box here. And as you can see, it is all gray in there to indicate that there are no gases going through there. And because we have our liquid lock, no, no gases can get through there, which is exactly what we're looking for. We're going to come up here. We're going to stick a gas. Uh, we're going to get, uh, get a gas pump up here. We have a filter going as well because we only want the hydrogen to come through here and into here. And so once that's once that's placed, you can go to unbreathable. We want it to be hydrogen. There you are. Excellent. And we're going to need some power going through both of those. Let's get you and you. All right, so we're going to get all the hydrogen that is up there currently. And that looks to be about it. So we are going to delete all of that. And we can actually delete everything. Yep, perfect. to get rid of all of that we can keep that pipe in there just for right now but if we go to our overlay all we need it's it's 600 grams you truly only need hydrogen in there it does not matter how much hydrogen is in there but the entire room now anytime a uh, a Dreco is inside of this hydrogen room they are going to regrow their scales and if you can see here the scale growth is at 100% so we could technically shear this one um, but they only grow if they are in hydrogen so that's why we want this box made of hydrogen ready to go in case um, they do drop some eggs which they have but again we have to wait for our Megatronics engineer that is the last one that we oh we got it okay so the operator is here now so we have enough for the Megatronics engineer perfect and that's going to give us um, rail construction and so what we can do here is we can actually complete this setup right here and how we do it is we come over to shipping I actually am not prepared for this, so we are going to come over here to solid transport. We're gonna we're gonna research this because we want those conveyor rails and the conveyor loader. But we do have a little bit of shipping. We have the auto sweeper in here, so we can get these guys ready to go. And we are going to need some more refined metals. We are going to come down to our rock crusher and we're gonna crush up twenty well, not fifty-two, twenty more. Uh, pieces of copper. We have 68 tons of copper, so we are truly not worried about running out of that. Let's go to our blueprints. Do we get another digger? Here we go. Uh, I can't build. That's okay. And squeamish. Molehan, so even more. So they're technically a plus 14, and they can do a little bit of construction. They can't do construction, but they have handsy here, so that doesn't technically matter. Let's go. Let's get dig number two. That'll be our eighth duplicate as well, and that's going to be um, as many as we're going to get until we're ready for more. Let's go to printing pod. 
go to our duplicate skills. Dig number two. Let's get you going. Hard digging. Excellent. We now have two diggers who are going to really, really uh, tear down this asteroid quickly once we get the once we get the oxygen going and once we get the Atmo suits up, which I think we're going to try and do for next video. Um, then we can really get those two diggers and we can just start excavating this entire asteroid out. But right now, how are we doing up here? We have the auto sweeper made out of lead. No, we're not going to make that out of lead. I'm sorry. We're not making that out of lead. We're going to we're going to wait until the the copper is there. There we go. OK, so we have some more copper. So now we want to get let's get you. Let's get you. Wait for our research to get done. Once our research gets done, we can add some more things to it. OK, and it looks like our research is done, which gives us our conveyor loader and our conveyor rails. And so what we're going to want is if we come to shipping, go to conveyor loader, we are going to put this right in between both of them. We're going to get our conveyor rail. We're going to come all the way over this way. I don't want to take out that abyss light, so I'm going to come this way. There we go. OK, perfect. And then our conveyor chute, and we're going to put that right there. So all of the eggs that are collected by our conveyor loader now should get put into our box. We're also going to do the same thing down here, except one little exception. So if we go to sweeping, let's put it right here. Let's put our conveyor loader right here. And then we want the conveyor rail to bring the eggs down this way and drop them off in here because what we actually want to happen is all the eggs that are collected from here, we want them to come down into here when they hatch the hatch inside of it will drown that, that sounds weird saying but that is correct they are called hatches so when the hatch hatches okay it will drown in here we'll get the meat and we can bring the meat up here and we can start cooking it as barbecue and so that will be a nice little system that we have going we can actually get another couple ranches going so one two three get some smooth hatches we do want to convert those over to uh, stone hatches as well so we're going to start doing that on the next video but let's get all of this going here show you exactly how it's going to work one of the things you do want to do as well is come over to the operate and up his build just by one to make sure that he's the only one who can actually build all of these conveyor rails and just to make sure that he is coming around and and building them whenever he does get that chance he's down here doing it right now so he's almost done perfect Awesome. Conveyor chute is on, so we can actually come over to here, and now we want them to pick up all the critter eggs. So any critter eggs that are in this room, the auto sweeper is going to get it, throw it into here. It'll automatically take it out of the room as well, take it along this conveyor rail through the chute, come down here, and all of our eggs are going to be sitting right here. Now, in case these things are not filled up, uh, they will come around here, pick up this egg, and put it into our incubator. So... You don't ever have to worry about that. These incubators will always be full if they can be filled, if there are eggs for them to find. And up here, we have the same thing going. So our conveyor loader is finished. So we can go to critter eggs. Unfortunately, oh, they did have a stone hatch. How about that? We have a stone hatch. They did it organically. Perfect. There is a 2% chance of them doing it. So if you come over here to the hatching, uh, hatchling, and come down to, well, that's a tiny one. Let's go to here. Uh, they do have a 2% chance of dropping a stone hatch egg. It doesn't happen too often, but it does happen. I mean, there is a percent that it could happen, and it just happened for us right here. So we are going to throw that stone hatch in there. Perfect. And we do want any draglet eggs. Oh, no draglet eggs, which means all of these have hatched. Excellent. Let's grab up eight. Let's grab you guys real quick. Where's that third one? There you are. Three. Perfect. We're going to round those bad boys up. It looks like our research is done. I do want to get this smelter, this refining metal. And let's throw those guys into here as well, which means we're going to have to come up here and disable these harvest. Again, we have enough. We have enough food now. So we did we did plant these ones over here. Once they get into one cycle of hatching, everything should be fine. Pickled meal, we have 12,000 calories. So we're doing okay with food for right this second. Yep, don't harvest them. 
And we do. Okay, so the directlet egg, it works. So it will take the directlet egg that are in uh, inside of this square here, take it out, and put it into our room here. So once this hatches naturally, which is at 12%, it's going to take a long time. So 3% per cycle. Um, so it will take a long, long time. But again, as they eat this mealwood, hopefully we get some glossy Dreco eggs. Let's see where we're at. It's still 2% there. I see a 16%. So it does the chances of, of it dropping a glossy directlet egg does go up as it does eat the mealwood. So um, as of right now, this system is working as intended. We just have to come down here and throw in some directlet eggs. We do want to just make sure that we have at least one or two directlet eggs. I think we made a bunch more metals. Let's go to food. We did incubators. We got one more. We can make another incubator. Perfect. All right, excellent. So our ranches are looking great. We have this one set up and ready to go. We have tamed our cool slush geyser so we can start to produce a little bit of oxygen with this thing. And uh, yeah, I think we are going to end it there. We're a little bit on uh, on time right now, but thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. I do appreciate it. If it did help you, please, a like and subscribe is always appreciated. And a big thank you to all of our new likes and subscribes over the past couple of days. Do appreciate it. A lot of people coming in here and talking. Just love talking with everybody so, so much. Have yourself a great rest of the day. We're going to check you out on the next video. And if you do have this game, I hope you are having fun with it. That is the most important thing with Oxygen Not Included. Make sure you're having fun. Well, let's check this out right before we go. See? Just happened to happen. Uh, building, farming, rocketeering, sweet larva. We're going to take that bad boy. And it's already along some of the plane with the plants, so it's good to go. Thank you again for checking out the channel. I do appreciate it, and thank you so much for liking and subscribing. Have yourself a great day. We'll check you out on the next video.